Hey guys, it's Sunday in Washington, D.C., and a big snowstorm has just arrived. Let's go for a walk. Actually, we're not going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a drive for a bit. Then we'll go for a walk. But we're not going to walk all the way down to the White House today. Too far, too much snow. Hey guys, so we finished our live stream from Georgetown and you'll be seeing some of the 4K quality video from Georgetown as well. But I thought, let's go over and check out the White House on a day when it's all white. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Now the uh, snow plows are in full mode here. They already got the sidewalks pretty cleared. They don't dally, they don't dilly dally around here. That's the Stephen Decatur house. That's the White House Historical Society's house. God, it looks beautiful in the snow. This whole park looks beautiful in the snow. Let's go down to the White House. I don't know if we can even see it, to be honest. It's so snowy. <laughs> General von Steuben, looking very snow-covered. And we've got snow plows and snow brooms or whatever already clearing out the park. I think they're really very active on clearing on this one because they know that there's ice coming later. And if the ice falls on top of the snow later, well, it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad, really hard to clear. So they're trying to get as much snow off as they can right now. And then the ice storm will come this evening. Whew. It did just get a lot colder than it was in Georgetown. I don't know why that is. It felt warmer when I was walking through Georgetown. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. There's just snow falling everywhere. Yes, I do have an umbrella. It looks like there's a big snowball fight or something going on over here. <laughs> So this is the Andrew Jackson statue, and we just realized, learned that they're going to rebuild the cannons that have been out here for a longer, and they've been missing for a few years. And there is the White House behind the big white fence that was put up this week around the North Fountain. And the big white fence doesn't obscure your total view, just part of it. But to be honest, on a day like today, you almost don't even notice it. It just blends into the snow. <laughs> Secret Service playing with their PA system. <laughs> Oof. Pretty good crowd out here. Honestly, there's actually more tourists than I thought there'd be out here. Just everybody wants to see the White House in the snow. You know, it's like a, a good picture to get for your Instagram. Do it for the gram. It looks like we got a park service plow already clearing off the street that nobody actually uses. <laughs> They've been. Yeah. Plow the fences, plow the fences. No, he's not. Secret service down there. Boy, as soon as he plows it, it just gets covered up again, doesn't it? He's still got to work. Don't know what else to tell you. It's snowing <laughs> and it's snowy here. There is uh, no Marine sentry on duty at the moment because, well, the president is not in. Uh, so they don't have to be out in the snow. Secret Service, though, they are here all the time protecting the building. And the plows are plowing. Whew. It's going to be a cold one. Oh. 
So let's go back over to uh, Jackson Place, which seems to be already well plowed. The sidewalks over here have been brushed and plowed. And we can make our way back up to our car. And then maybe we'll just spin around a little bit and head home and edit up this video. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> There's another, another street plow coming out, another sidewalk plow coming out. Oof. Yeah, you can see that plow truck just went up here. I can follow him. The sidewalk is like dry. It's almost like they've got like a heated sidewalk or something. That or they put a tremendous amount of chemicals on it. I'm kind of voting chemicals. Oh boy, crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Oof. The uh, sidewalk is covered with green goo. But it is clear. They must have prioritized this sidewalk. Whoa! The wind is picking up, guys. It's getting colder. There's our plow again. Called Mr. Plow. That's his name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Now I got a copyright strike from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, he's got one of those spinning brooms. That's what they're using. Those things are great. I wish they had them when I was in college. They would have had the sidewalks much clearer than when I went to school. Well, this did a really good job on the sidewalk. There's enough, enough de-icer on my shoes to uh, clear this road, I think. <laughs> let's go up to the Capitol, yeah? All right, let's get my car. Hey guys, it's uh, snowing. We're in Georgetown. We're about to go out for a walk around Georgetown and it's going to be pretty crazy. Maybe we'll go live. Yep, it is definitely snowing. Let me see if I got an uh, umbrella. They are sweeping the campus. Look at the big sweepers. Welcome to Georgetown University. 
in the middle of a big snowstorm. There goes the plow slash broom and everybody's out taking pictures because it's just gorgeous. Yo, can you bring the speaker? <laughs> going on around here. I think the uh, NFL playoffs are going on the football. So there's a lot of big house parties going on. I mean, I can hear, I think guys guys, the red cups going over there. They're partying. But we're going to go down out of the uh, campus area a bit. Oh guys are playing snow football. Oh snow football is fun. Okay, guys, let's go down the Exorcist steps. Ding, 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 ding. For those of you who don't know, the movie The Exorcist was filmed in this house. This house was the set for the movie The Exorcist. And the Exorcist Steps, which play such a major role in the movie, I won't spoil it for you, but they are right here. Do, 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 do. There's the Exorcist Steps, for those of you who have seen the movie. I always love these townhouses. These townhouses that are all the same, except it's like three of these things are kind of a feather. One of these things is doing his own thing. Three of these things are kind of the same. Can you tell me which one's doing his own thing before my song is done? Da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway, that's my Sesame Street looking at the house with way too many weeds. <laughs> oh, it's cold though. So. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna loop back up to Georgetown. Oh, these girls are slipping and sliding. <laughs> So you're at Wisconsin and M right now. This is kind of the heart of the commercial district of Georgetown. So this is John F. Kennedy's house. John F. Kennedy lived here when he was a senator before he became president. She shows you all everything in Paris. So this is known as Captain's Row. These are the old captain's houses of the old merchants, merchantmen who used to serve the port of Georgetown back in the 1800s or so. All the houses here were owned by ship captains or by like the port owners. Beautiful old houses. Ooh. I hear an ambulance making its way up to the hospital. Where are we at? 34th? I think I'm on 36th Street. Now, if I remember, Oh, it's the next street, the next street. Madeline Albright used to live on one of these little side streets, Secretary of State under Clinton. It is beautiful, isn't it? Whew. Oof. So we just finished the live stream and uh, we're going to do it. Oh crap. So I just thought I'd show you myself. One right now. Kind of snow covered. All right, let's go down to the White House, guys.